Hello and welcome to my latest demonstration, which is the third in the installment of Visual Plugins Visual Compressor. As with all the visual plugins, they are designed around a large window mode which can be shrunk and you can scroll between the three input panels. Now it's important to note this isn't just a typical compressor, it's a four band compressor stroke expander, which can be used for something as simple as expanding the dynamic range of a drum track to mastering. As with all the visual plugins, we feature a spectrum analyzer which takes the guesswork out of uh, detecting those uh, problematic frequencies. On the far right of the effect, you will see the three crossover frequency knobs and the band selection buttons. You can press the buttons to toggle the bands, and you notice the little compressor panel to the left uh, will reflect the band selected, or you can actually select a band directly on the graph. You can also use the low, medium and high sliders at the bottom of the graph to change the crossover frequencies for each of the bands. Each band has its own threshold, gain, attack, release and ratio buttons. But there's this large button here which allows us to toggle between compression and expansion. If your door is restricting you to a single panel it might be worth turning on the labelling option which uh, gives you more information on the graph. So let's take a look at using Visual Compressor as a mastering tool. A big thank you to Doug and Colin from the Sound Test Room for providing this uh, backing uh, audio. It's already mastered, but we're just going to take a look and see if we can uh, make any improvements. Now we've made some changes, let's uh, have a go at storing those changes so we've got something to compare against. If you slide the whole interface up, uh, it reveals a set of uh, three uh, mix buttons. Press the save mix and then press one of the three mix buttons. Now we've made some changes to the mix, slide the interface up, press the save mix button, then press the second of the three mix buttons. As you can see this is an extremely useful way of comparing up to three mixes. Um, those mix settings are also saved with custom presets and saved with the state in your door. Pressing a band's bypass button will let you uh, compare to the original. Now I'm exaggerating everything here just for effect, just so you can actually hear some changes. Uh, we wouldn't go this extreme under normal circumstances, but let's have a go at adding an expander to uh, the treble, the top end. Sounds a little mushy at the minute, but uh, an expander might do a better job. If you listen closely, the expander gives a totally different dynamic to the uh, i-hats. Um, the expander tends to uh, expand everything above the threshold and compress everything below. But one good use of the expander is as a noise reduction tool. Uh, use the ratio to set the noise floor.
So that just about wraps up this demonstration. Uh, please don't use this demonstration as an example of my mastering skills. I was obviously going overboard, bottom and top ends, just to make sure I could emphasize what the plugin was doing. Until next time, thanks for watching.